Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another empties video for you guys and of course these are gonna be my March empties. I managed to finish quite a big amount of product so I just wanna jump right into it and start um, showing them because I don't want this video to get too long. Um, so yeah, let's start with a um, one that you guys have seen before so I don't have to explain too much about this one anymore. This is the L'Oreal Paris Absolute Makeup Remover Eye and Lip um, makeup remover. <laughs> um, yeah, I really, really like this one. This is one that I always keep repurchasing. And I think you guys probably see this one in, in almost every empty video that I do, if not every other empties video that I film. So, yeah, this one is gone. I like it. And then, let's see. Oh, I have so many products that I don't even know where to go next. <laughs> um, I finished a night cream. This is the Origins High Potency Night um, Mineral Enriched Renewal Cream. It is really nice and thick, but not like too much. And the smell is just, oh, I love it. Um, it's kind of like the citrusy, orange kind of smell, which it like kind of is an interesting um, scent for an evening product because this is kind of the, the scent that I would imagine a day cream to be because it kind of makes you feel um, a little bit more energetic but like, I really really love love the smell of this one and it, it did really good things for my skin as well like you put it on your skin at night and it just really really hydrates your skin so I am a big fan of this one and I would definitely repurchase it um, yeah so that's that one but then on the other hand I also finished another um, Origins products and okay <laughs> this is one that I cut up again so I kind of need to puzzle it back together for you guys this is the Origins uh, what's the name vitalizing SPF 15 energy boosting moisturizer moisturizer um, and yeah it looks a little bit dirty and that is because this is a um, like tinted moisturizer basically although I didn't really see too much of that like if you put it on your hand yes it looks a little bit brownish I guess but then like when you put it in your face you don't really see any difference um, I did not like this one the smell is awful <laughs> I just really didn't like it's like it smelled pretty chemical I don't know whether that's the F SPF that's in it or or what it was but not my thing and at the same time like it kind of didn't feel like it really moisturized my face like it's nice that it has SPF but if that is everything that I can really take from it, then I'd rather use another one. Like, I really love my image, um, like, mattifying SPF 32 plus um, day cream that I'm using right now, which smells really, really nice in uh, comparison to this one especially. So, yeah, I would not repurchase this one again. Then I've got a couple of Dermalogica products again. Um... This is a Dermalogica Ultra Calming Mist, which is kind of like a toner. You kind of spritz it all over your face, um, like once you've once you're done cleansing, and then afterwards you can apply your day cream, your night cream, whatever cream you want to apply. Um, I do really really like this one because it's like it's the ultra calming one, so it isn't too much. Like a lot of toners maybe contain a little bit of alcohol or whatever, and doesn't feel nice on the skin. But this like it smells nice, it feels nice. Um, so yeah, I, I do like this one. Then I've got a um, pre-cleanse from Dermalogica. So the Dermalogica pre-cleanse basically. Um, I don't know, like this is my second one of this one and I have a backup still. Um, really, really like the first one, uh, but halfway through this one, I kind of started liking it a little bit less. Um, I, th I don't know why exactly like it it's like an oil that kind of cleanses your face and afterwards you use your face wash to kind of so it's like the two-step thing basically well you don't have to but that's how I use it Um I just kind of feel like my eyes don't like this one too much so you're supposed to be able to like remove your eye makeup and just your complete makeup with this but I do feel that my eyes get a little bit like irritated I guess after I use it but I didn't have that in the beginning, but that's what's happening now. And I feel like this is the product that's causing it. So 
like it removes your makeup really really well it doesn't feel like too much on your skin it's oil based I like I kind of have an oily face but that is not a problem for me at all it's just like not something I like using around my eyes anymore so I don't think I would repurchase this I'm actually thinking about buying like one of these cleansing balms maybe the Clinique one or anything um, so if you guys have any recommendations for nice cleansing balms or something similar to that, please let me know. And then my last Dermalogica product that I've finished is the Stress Relief Treatment Oil. Um, this is something that you can apply either on your skin, but I used it a lot in like when I was taking a bath. I would put this in the water to kind of relax my muscles because it's like a stress relief. So that's what it was meant for. Like normally if you take a bath and your muscles are kind of sore, course that helps a lot already because of the warm water but I felt when I put this in it really made a difference and it has this really nice herbally kind of smell so not the oh my god it had to be natural <laughs> herbal kind of smell but just a really really nice relaxing also herbal kind of smell so I am a really fan of this one I just don't know whether I would buy it again just because it's not something that is like a product you really really need but it does work for me. So that's that one. Uh, four more products to go. Um, one that I can be pretty quick about again, but this dry shampoo, I've used up a couple of these already. So you've seen them in my empties videos. If you've been watching them uh, for longer than just this one, um, this is a fresh scent and well, it just really is fresh because you, like, it doesn't really have a scent. You can put it in your hair to freshen up your hair and it doesn't, like have something that takes over your perfume or anything so it is nice if you don't want something that smells too much because you just want to wear your perfume and let that be the scent that people smell and not the scent that's in your hair but overall again but these dry shampoos are really amazing anyway and they really help with like once your hair gets a little bit greasy and even like to give it a little bit more volume really really like their products um, Let's see what's next. Then I have a uh, body lotion from and other stories. This is their Sardonyx Fire body lotion. Um, really, really nice smell. It says here that it's from a dark amber inferno rice of wild vanilla and hints of bloom. So it is kind of like it has this warm undertone, but kind of like it says, it does have a little bit of that flowery uh, scent in this as well. And I really, really like this one. Um, also moisturizes is exactly enough for me so it sinks in quickly enough um, so you are not like sticky all evening or morning or whenever you apply it but at the same time it does moisturize so really really like this one and I bought another one just a different scent from another stories once I finish this one then oh, I've got so many stuff that it's all over the place um, I have a Lush product and this is the Let the Good Times Roll um, kind of face wash, I guess. Um, this one <laughs> smells amazing as well. It kind of smells like cookies and it has popcorn in it even. Um, and so this one is something that you put on your face kind of to cleanse your face. Um, it is really nice and hydrating so there are a lot of like nice, nice oils and stuff in here as well. Um, at the same time, it has really tiny specks of, well, I guess it's not the popcorn, but um, tiny pieces of something in here. So it kind of um, exfoliates your face as well, but they are not too much in my opinion. So really, really like this one. I bought this one like two or three times already at this point. The smell, so good. <laughs> so that is like really one of the reasons that I, that I buy this all the time, but at the same time, it really like cleanses your face, but leaves it hydrated at the same time, which is something that I really, really like in a product. So definitely would repurchase this. Then I finished up a like nail remover pot thingy. Um, this one is from Boots, which is just like the local drugstore here. And that it has one of these sponges inside where you can put your finger in. As you can see, it's completely green from my uh, dark green nail polish that is in my project polish. And that's why I'm tossing this one, because if I put my fingers in here at this point, my fingers come out kind of with a dark green glittery hue to them. And that's just not really what I want when I'm trying to remove my nail polish from my fingers to become the color of the nail polish. So 
I bought a new one and this one is gonna go, but it worked, it worked okay. Like the sponge is a little bit too soft for my taste, I guess, so it moved around a lot and it makes it a little bit harder to remove like your nail polish, but the like amount of acetone or like the liquid that's in here worked really well. I just probably wouldn't buy this specific one again, but I really, really like this type of nail polish removers. Once I started using this, I didn't really want to go back to just like the cotton pads and the nail polish remover separately. So yeah. And then lastly, I also finished a makeup product this time. And that is my Clinique High Impact Mascara, um, which I've got three other ones left at the moment. Really is my favorite mascara at the moment. Um, just because it leaves my lashes really, really natural. I don't like the too clumpy and thick natural, too clumpy and thick not natural. It, like, mascara is never natural, but you guys know what I mean. Like I don't like my, my lashes to be too clumpy and thick and this one doesn't do that. It just leaves them like really nice. It just basically paints them black, makes them a little bit thicker maybe, but that's it. So really, really like this one. Still got another three to go through. So um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. And I don't mind having to go through three others of this one. It just is my favorite. And that is it. Those were all the products that I used up over the month of March. And yeah, <laughs> let me know if there are any like products that you guys recommend, anything that you guys used up in the last month. Um, really, really any recommendations on like a uh, cleansing balm or anything would be really appreciated because I'm kind of uh, going to look for one pretty soon, I think. So thank you guys very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye bye.